Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for September 2nd through the 10th. This is for the sign of Libra. I do apologize for the delay. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as typically my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this part reading is probably not for you. We're going to get three of these, and we're going to clarify them at the end. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Also, if you don't believe in tarot readings, then this reading is not for you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Make the effort to love yourself first. Please. One more for Libra. Express your love. Amazing. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I mean, this, this, this is all about love. It is. Express your love. Make the effort. And love yourself. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. You are guided to express your love, especially to yourself. You deserve love, and I don't even need that card. Mm. I hate to show you what's on the bottom, but I'm gonna. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Self-respect. You have to put yourself first. You have to. You know, people will say that Libras are so cold-hearted, cold you know, because they're swords, you know, the king and queen of swords. In fact, Libras will often put everybody above themselves. And I don't care what anybody says, so you cross-watchers can kiss it. All right, because I know a lot of Libras, and a lot of times they will... Um, Put their feelings last. <laughs> and I don't care what anybody says. I know that for a fact. Um, so at this point, you have to have self-respect. Commitment. Contentment. Happiness. This could also be attending some sort of gathering where you you celebrate somebody. Okay, you could be going to some sort of celebration for another person. I'm just going to get these cards. Somebody's lacking strength, courage, confidence to let go of something. You may feel a little down in the dumps over some conflict that has arisen. You may be reluctant to let go. This is reluctant to let go, but if you did, you'd feel some relief. There's a toxic situation, and I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. I also, I know Libras very, 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 very well. Somebody is clinging to a bond that is karmic. They're clinging to a lie. You know, what does the devil bring in? Untruths. Karma. Demons, lies, obsessions, addictions, sabotage. It brings in these situations 
that make you find the strength to break the chains. You have to face your demons. It's part of strength. It's part of a life lesson. Somebody is lacking the strength to break the chains from this karmic bond. Reluctant. Committed to the devil. Committed to the demons. You have to take action. You have to have self-respect. There's lack of self-respect in both of these cards. Lack of self-respect. It's time to just be happy. These ties need to be severed. This is the sword that severs the ties because you know what? It's no longer about my pride. It's no longer about the rejection. It's about my happiness at this point. It's time to cut this, these demons out of your life. There's an opportunity for happiness. If you could restore your faith and see the light. Step out of your own insecurities, out of your pride. Rejection hurts the ego. Rejection, ego. It's a time of, you know, you guys are carrying around some, some serious freaking baggage. It's really, really weighing you down. It's really, really heavy. It's overwhelming. This is the card of ego as well. It's time to take action to bring contentment and happiness back to your life. You're going to have to find the strength and the self-respect that's been lacking to fulfill your own wishes. This is, this is, it's the end. It's the Ten of Wands. It's a completion. It's the end of struggle if you would drop it, if you would lay it down. You're about to give it up anyway. You look, at least he's not standing up. He's, he's got to the end. This is too heavy to even carry. I can't even stand up and carry it anymore. He's brought to his knees. It's to, it's to the point of collapse. You may feel like you're at the point where you're going to collapse. You are overwhelmed with something. There's, there's, there's a transition. There's a death. There's an ending. There's, there's a transformation going on, and you may be trying to resist it. There's a death. Something is over. It's done. You may feel like you're defeated. You may feel like you, you know, if you wait a little bit longer, you know, you can regain your energy and take some more steps. You're, you're, you're not quite ready to set it down. But it's going to kill you. With endings bring new beginnings. White is, is purity. This is a raven, right? It's a, or it's a raven or a crow or whatever. It's, it's the end. It's, something is done. It's time to give it up. Because it's time for you to be happy again. It's time for you to stop sacrificing yourself. And see the situation exactly as it is. You've been stalling. And it, it's time for a new journey. When I see the hangman reverse, it, I see the fool. It reminds me of the fool. Always with the hangman in reversed. The fool is a new journey. You have an, And this is a new journey as well. With endings bring new beginnings. You're about to start a brand new journey. But you have to drop this baggage first. 
You have to let go of this overwhelming load that you have been clinging to. You have. You've been clinging to it. Thinking, you know, I have more fight left. I, I can just hold on to it. I can, you know, if I just take a break for a little while, you know, in a little while I'll be able, you know, this will come back around. I'll get my energy back and, you know, I can, I can keep going. The fact of the matter is, is these burdens will just get heavier and heavier and heavier until your back breaks. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be ending something with a Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Pisces. Either way, a contract is ending. You see what just happened here? This is the end of a contract. It's done. It's over. It's no longer compatible. There's no more connection. And I know that you're indecisive about it and there's there will always be a bond. But you can't hang on to something that is one-sided. There's no going back. The truth is being revealed. You may feel like you've been robbed. You may feel like you've been cheated. And maybe you have. Maybe you have been robbed and cheated. But you, cons you should consider it a blessing. You're really, you really are receiving a gift out of this. And you may, I know you don't see it that way. I know you don't see it that way. But this is a new perspective is needed, okay? And, and that is the truth. The hangman is a new perspective is needed. You guys have been hanging on to an old perspective of something being real that wasn't real with that devil card it was all a lie the fact of the matter is is there is some there's a death of something and there's going to be an, and you will be able to celebrate this ending there's going to be some sort of there could be a celebration that you go to with this card and this card that allows you to start something new There's no resurrection. There's no reconciliation. What's dead is dead. It's over. It's done. You were probably involved in a third party situation. I mean, with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords together touching each other with a lover's card. Whoever you were with, if this is relationship related, if this is in regards to a love relationship, they chose somebody other than you. Or you chose somebody. There's another person in the mix. Period. And there's no reconciliation coming here. And you need to face your demons and stop lying to yourself about it. I know a lot of you don't want to hear this. I absolutely know that. It's done. You need to release it. You need to forgive and realize that there is no resurrection of the situation. I'm sure that you, if you want to hold on for the rest of your life, 
you can find 20 other readings that will tell you to hold on for the rest of your life. But it's about time for you to face these demons and stop lying to yourself and remove these obstacles that are holding you back. Yeah, that's safe. It's safe to stay where you're at, hanging on to this lie. But it's time for you to face this mental turmoil and step outside of the trap that you have kept yourself in. You have left yourself in a situation that is completely a lie. I mean, this is this is a lie. The Eight of Swords reversed are lies. It's, feel free to look it up for those of you that don't know. It's lies. Let go of the emptiness. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We're going to clarify these cards. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. I believe there's going to be a celebration of some sort this week that you will attend. Could be under a tent. Could be um, a wedding. Could be a funeral. Something like that. I um, mean, it could be with a death card. You never know. That helps you to move forward. And it's going to, I think there's going to be some hurt here. I do. Or you're hurting right now. You may feel like you don't have any mental strength at all. It's very overwhelming. You're feeling overwhelmed this week over something. Make the make the effort. <laughs> oh, goodness. The high priestess reversed. Loss of self. Repression. Keeping it all inside. You've forgotten who you are. You've forgotten who you're worth. You've forgotten what you deserve. And you're not listening. Like I said, there's 20 other readings going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. Feel free to live in denial for the rest of your life. That will get heavier and heavier and heavier until you collapse. Love yourself first. Somebody is trying to go against the script. Thinking that silence and waiting, if I just keep my, you know, I, I got more fight in me, I'll just keep silent and I'll wait and I'll wait and things will change. Okay, this is a silence. No. No. Whoever you're dealing with does not have good intentions. They've closed themselves off emotionally. doesn't matter what the sign is that you're dealing with. They are not emotionally invested in you, and you don't want to believe it. You think you know, but you don't know. That's what this is reversed. This right here, again, not, not as intuitive as you'd think. Okay, Your intuition is wrong. It's not your intuition is wrong, it's your thoughts are wrong, or whatever you want to say. Somebody's not listening. You may feel, oh, you're definitely, this is going to be a week of not being able to master your emotions. There could even be some tears shed this week. Oh, God. Yes, there probably will be some tears shed because I think that somebody is going to there's going to be a, there's going to be an abrupt ending. Whether you've been apart from this person for a while or it happens right away. There's going to be a realization with with this card and this card the, the truth coming out. You know, there's going to be a realization that it is done. 
something is done, done, done. And it's going to hurt. I knew it was going to hurt. I could feel it. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now I have to remind you guys, this reading is not for every single person. Do not try to make it fit your situation. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And if you try to make it fit and you put a stupid comment below about how it didn't fit, well then you're the idiot, not me. Because this reading may not be yours. You know if it is or not. You know if you're in denial or not. I, I don't care. I'm telling you what I see. There's going to be an abrupt ending. There's going to be an abrupt realization that probably makes you cry. That's what I see. And I don't like to give these messages. But if you're looking for fantasy, there's a lot of options for you to click on to. Many. There's no more growth in a situation. There's no more spark. The flame has been put out. And it's time for you to put yourself first, Libra. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. You have to restore your hope. Whatever has happened is a blessing in disguise. It is a gift. Remember I was talking about gifts here from heaven. Heaven is involved. This is protection. This is what heaven wants. It's heaven sent. healing it's time to give up it's time to give up a fight nines are closure it's time to move on to better things where you can be yourself purely be yourself But somebody is being dishonest with themselves. Treating themselves unfairly. <laughs> you are. That's you. You know. Refusing. Refusing to regain balance when you have the opportunity to do so. But you know, you feel like you got one. You're still fighting for something that you are. And I see that you are. It's like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. I'm going to just be silent and everything, you know, I'm going to wake up from this nightmare in the morning and everything's going to change. No, that's not going to happen. Life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. You may be afraid. You may be afraid to take care of yourself. You may feel like, you know, there's no, nothing to be grateful for at this time. But there is. There is. There's an opportunity for you to heal if you would allow it. 
Express your love to yourself. Allow yourself to heal. Stop lying to yourself. Stop fighting for something that is dead. Let the healing process begin. Let the healing process step it up a notch. This is a week. of endings that bring beautiful heaven sent new beginnings we're going to get one of these Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment, no matter what is occurring in your life. If you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously, loved often, and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experience, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. Give yourself permission to be happy. When the traveler meets a band of gyp gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure wherever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated or satiated or whatever that says. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance, eat well, and drink well. Share joy wherever you can. And it is. It's time to, maybe you need to start dating with that three of cups. Maybe it's time to get out there and express your love to others. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you would let go of something that is a lie. It's in your hands, but it's some, there's an ending here, okay? So this is what I have. I wish you the best. Talk to you later.